Okay, students, today we are going to understand how to use scale microvision software for our assembly language programming related to our microcontroller 805. This is the website from where you can download uh, the software for your laptops also. Kill.com. Kill and you have to go to the download section and then you will find C51 here. Development tools for all 8051 devices. You can click on this. If you, if you click, you will get this kind of page. You have to enter all your details, first name, last name, email, preferably it should be your uh, college email ID. Company name is nothing but your college, job title you can say the student and likewise you can you know, register and download the software. So I have already downloaded uh, for my laptop. So here you can see different menus are there, file, edit, view, project, flash, debug, peripherals, tools, SVCS, window and help. First and foremost thing before starting any you know programming is to make the project so we have to build a new microvision project let us say i want to uh, go for the simple edition so i am making a project named as add to dot demo let me make this project and name it as add to dot demo save it and after this one window will appear like this here we have to go for second option that is legacy devices device database and here i have to type carefully at 89c51 i have to select it here you can find 8051 base fully static 24 megahertz cmos controller but we are not using 24 megahertz oscillator in class i told you that we have to use 12 megahertz oscillator specifically 11.0592 megahertz so we have to select it and then we can reprogram that later okay so here it will ask to copy the project here i have to select no option so here your project is created at two dot demo and uh, we have to build this target before building the target i will go into the file option and select new so this is the window here we have to type the program whatever we want to do let me use uh, backslash and give the heading as addition of two eight bit numbers let us write the program simple program move a comma hash 40h we have to use semicolon and then move r1 comma hash 20h again we have to use semicolon add c add with carry i want to add the content of a and r1 again semicolon after the addition i know that the result will be stored in the accumulator suppose i want to store in some other register let us say r2 so I can say move R to comma A. I already told you we have to define the destination first followed by the source. Now any 8051 program start with the assembler directive ORG 0000H and ends with the assembler directive called end. So what we are doing we are moving 40H into accumulator 20H into R1. We are adding A with R1 so result will be 60H and 60H will be there in the accumulator and then we are storing uh, the accumulator back into the <coughs> R2 okay, so now we have to save this uh, particular program so let us save it and name it as add demo dot ASM ASM is the extension for assembly language program save it so as soon as you save this the font uh, color changes okay and uh, before running this program we have to do certain things we have to go to the source group one click right and select the third option add existing files to group source group one what i have done i have gone to this particular option click right and then add existing files to group source group one 
click on it and the same file name add demo.asm this one we have to select and add as soon as we add it it will appear here at demo.asm you can see and then we have to do certain changes with respect to the target one also as i told you earlier that uh, the frequency we have to use is 11.0592 megahertz it was it was showing 24 at the starting so in your uh, laptop or computer it will show 24 unless uh, you set it to 11.0592 i have already set it that is why it is appearing as 11.0592 megahertz and the output you have to select this file create hex file if you don't create hex file you know, then your program will not run your hex file will not be created so we have to create we have to select two options target we have to set the frequency 11.0592 and in the output we have to tick this particular option called create hex file and then okay now here two options are appearing one is uh, translate and another is build so we have to click on translate so when you click on the translate you will find here the build output at demo.asm zero error and zero warning it means there is no error and no warning and then we have to click on the build again zero error and zero warning now i have to go to the debug option debug option and create uh, and sorry click on start stop debug session so it will give some uh, notice here you have to select ok so this is the window which is uh, in front of you this is the running window uh, on your simulator here you can see the different registers r0 r1 r2 r3 r4 r5 r6 r7 and the other special registers accumulator b register stack pointer program counter dptr psw so all those registers you can see here and these two symbols are very important green followed by the yellow if these two symbols are not appearing it means some error is there in your program so be careful so as i already told you this org and end is just the assembler directive they will not run inside the simulator of 8051 and that is why you can see the cursor pointing right on the move a comma hash 40h so you already know what will be the operation of move a comma hash 40h 40 will be copied to accumulator see the accumulator this is accumulator accumulator is currently 0 0 so once i run the program accumulator will be replaced by 40. so there are two modes first mode is step by step mode and second mode is step over mode in step over mode you will run the program and see the result directly but we don't prefer that mode we will go step by step and see what are the changes with respect to the particular instruction is happening inside the 05 so here i will click step and you will see that accumulator which is 0 0 here will be replaced by 40 let us click so accumulator is now 40 and next instruction is move r1 automatically the cursor will now point the next instruction move r1 comma hash 20h so r1 is currently 0 0 so r1 will be replaced by 20h so again we will click step so 20 is there in r1 40 is there in accumulator so both will be get added so 40 plus 20 is nothing but 60 and result will be there in accumulator so accumulator will be replaced by the content called 60 so again click so 60 is there in accumulator what is the next instruction next instruction is we have to move the content of accumulator into r2 so r2 is currently 0 0 once i run this instruction r2 will also be replaced by 60 so here you can see accumulator is also 60 and r2 is also 60 why we do this kind of thing so that accumulator can be free for next set of operation this is the simple program of 2 8 bit addition we have directly taken the data here so immediate addressing mode we have used okay so to stop the uh, running mode we have to click on this start or stop debug session this is this is the uh, symbol for that and if you don't use want to use that you have to go to this both symbols are same here you can do this here also you can do this so you have to go to the debug and select the start stop so program has been stopped and you are here again 
let us modify this program okay and instead of using the data directly why don't we make it as address so what is what is this program now this program is saying that we want to move some content which is present at the 40h so 40h has now become the memory location 40h is 40h is now a memory location and similarly 20h is also a memory location so there is some data which is present at 40h it will be moved to accumulator and some data which is present at 20h will be moved to accumulate uh, r1 register and then we will add and store back the content to the r2 register so let us try to run this program so we will first save it save this and then again translate it zero error zero warning again build it you will see zero error zero warning and then you have to go to the debug and start stop debug okay so here you can see you want to content you want to move the content of 40h into the accumulator but where is 40h 40h is nothing but a memory location so we have to select the memory location first now so we have to go to the view bar and in the view we have to go to the memory window and memory window we have to select memory one memory one if it is not appearing again we have to go to the memory window and i select memory one memory one so here you can see memory one is appearing so in memory one which address i want 40 h i want so i have to select it addresses like this capital i colon 40 h and then enter so here we can see this 40 so this is my 40 this is 41 this is 42 this is 43 and so on so i have to select this 40 h let us let us double click on it and write some content let us say i am storing 5 here so 5 and 5 has been stored in which memory location 40h now i have to go to the 20h and store some data over 20h also so i colon 20h and again enter so this is a 20h memory location i have to go and store some let us say 4 so what i stored i stored 5 in 40h and 4 in 20h what will be the result 5 plus 4 9 and 9 will be stored in accumulator and again it will be stored in the r2 register so let us now see what are the changes with respect to this particular um, condition that uh, we are going to observe so accumulator will be replaced by the content which is present at 40h so 40h may we have stored uh, 5 so 5 will be moved to accumulator accumulator is zero now so let us again follow this step by step approach step so a will be replaced by 0 5 the content of 40h r1 r1 we have uh, just saved 4 in 20h so 20h is having 4 and this 4 will be stored in r1 again a step so 4 is there in r1 5 is there in accumulator 4 plus 5 is 9 and 9 will be there in accumulator again again a step so 9 is there and now we want to move this content of accumulator into r2 register so again, again we will click here so 9 is there in r2 register so this is how we can do simple programming related to memory related to register related to directly data so we'll see some other programs in the next video and here again you you can come back by just clicking the start stop